welcome to my page. Today I'm launching my new series called Substance Saturdays with Sylvester. Today's video is a controversial topic. It's called Women Who Text All Day Are Easy to Talk Over. Well, 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 you might not agree. You might not even be aware of this. But let me break it down for you. I'm going to give you some tips, some observations, and some ways to avoid from being... The very first reason that you're easy to F over is because you're an easy target. You have to understand male psychology. It doesn't matter what level of male we're talking about. It can be a young man. It can be a grown man. It could be a grown young man. It can be a fuck boy. It can be a king. It can be a man of passion, a man of substance. We all desire the same thing when it comes to women. And that's called the path of least resistance. Okay, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not saying all men want easy women. I'm not saying all men want hoes and sluts because that's what some of you are gonna think when I say the path of least resistance. That's not what we're talking about. As far as longevity goes, men like women of peace. Men like women of peace. When we think of settling down, we think of a woman who represents peace. A woman who is going to help build us up. So we like what's easy. And our problem is, Easy sometimes makes us lazy, especially if we don't have to work for it. Texting all day makes you an easy target because it makes us men lazy. It enables us to be lazy. We don't have to try. Here's a prime example. If we're on a first date, it takes real effort to talk to you and to get to know you because I have to find out about what you're into, what you're passionate about, what you like, what you don't like, what you like to eat. I have to learn your mannerisms. Well, texting makes you an easy target because before our first date, we can text and text and text for days, weeks, and maybe even months, maybe even years in some cases. What this does for you is it pulls down your wall. It pulls down the little security blanket you have protecting your little heart. But what it does for me is it makes me lazy. But what it does for me is it makes me lazy. Because now I don't have to do this in person. Now I don't have to go out on a date with you and do this. Now I don't have to really take the time to really invest and really develop a real face-to-face -face connection because we've already developed a facade, fake, phony, weak connection through texting, right? just say it the way that no one else is is ready to say it okay if you don't like me after this video that's fine I'm here to give you the truth I'm here to give you substance I'm here to talk about things that we talk about in our living rooms that people are scared to say women are emotionally connected to words I'm a best-selling author I'm a best-selling writer I have thousands and thousands of books sold across the world I know this from my own art women love words you have to understand the psychology of a man. I know she's attracted to words. She's also not holding me accountable to any type of actions. She also likes to just text all day. Doesn't require me to talk to her on the phone. Hmm. That makes you an easy target, sweetheart. That means I don't have to call you. I don't have to ask for dates. I don't have to go out with you. All I have to do is text you all day. That's easy. Because... Who doesn't have their phone with them all the time? But there's no effort in texting. See, for me to get on the phone and hold the phone and, and let the heat of the phone 
heat up my face, that's energy. That's effort. Or if we're going to sit up here on FaceTime with each other, looking at each other, um, that's effort. Texting equates to laziness. Men will be lazy because women allow it. Society has tricked our women into thinking that they don't have any power anymore. That's nonsense. Women have all the power in dating. All of the power in dating women have. But what you have now is a generation of women who are so misguided, okay? A generation of women who are jaded and have not seeked the uh, healing process, the coping process, the letting go of negative emotions or energy process. So you have women with broken hearts and misguided information and also women who lack awareness of their own self. And what they're doing is they're crashing into other women and young girls with this information. Now they're out in these dating pools and not only are they ruining themselves, they're ruining some of the guys they come across. Women have all the power. Women are the most powerful beings on this planet. Women create life with their bodies. They sustain life after birth. Women are powerful. We all, as men, as boys, as women, as girls, as institutions, as race, society, as humanity, we have to restore the belief, the power, and the faith in our women. Womanhood is beautiful. It is a beautiful thing. So we need to restore the true power of what it means to be a powerful, strong woman. Now, this is my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, that's okay. Either way, I want you to eat this information alive, okay? Don't make yourself an easy target. Believe that you are worthy. Believe that you are worth the commitment. Believe that you are worth the effort. Believe that your dating situation as a woman is based upon what you allow and what you put out. I just told you that male psychology is based on the path of least resistance. We want it to be easy. Does that mean we don't want to challenge? Does that mean we don't want to chase? Does that mean we don't have value in women who make us uh, work or put effort in? Of course, the, come on, let's be, let's, let's use some common sense here. But you cannot, if you want a sustainable relationship with longevity, with passion, with concern, with empathy, with effort, you cannot allow a man, especially at the beginning of meeting him, to text you all day. You are also responsible for yourself. So if you are allowing these quote-unquote fuckboys to text themselves into your panties and into your heart and you require nothing of them, no effort, you're going to have to stop blaming the fuckboys and you're going to have to look at yourself. So the choice is yours. What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to keep texting all day? Or are you going to require and, and exhibit the behavior of picking up the phone, arranging dates? Because a man doesn't just have to ask you for a date. If you want to go out, hey, we're going to Chipotle, buddy. Be ready at 3 o'clock. Okay? Let's be honest. Gender roles and gender expectations have changed since the 1960s. A man does not just have to ask you for a date. If you want to go out with someone, you're interested in someone, put it out there. It doesn't make you a hoe. Stop thinking with society's expectations. If you want something, go for it. But you're going to have to set a boundary and barrier for yourself, for what you're going to do with your behavior, and for how you're going to allow yourself to be treated. So I'm challenging you. I am commanding you to make a change right now for your own life. Stop texting all day. Pick up the phone, develop deep, passionate communication and conversations. You deserve more, right? Thank you for watching my video. I know some of the stuff in here can be controversial. You may not agree, but I'm not sharing this for you to agree. I'm sharing this video so it can hit someone right here in the throat or right here in the heart so they can say, you know what? I can do better. I deserve more. I'm going to make a difference today. That is the purpose of this video. Check me out. I'm on your Facebook. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. The username is Sylvester McNutt. I will put the link right here. Subscribe to my channel and come on back next Saturday as I give you another video.